This is it, folks. Welcome. My name is Elliot Johnson Fan 48, and today we're all here to determine the 12 cars that are moving on for a chance at that um, NASCAR Napa Cup Series title. We've got 16 of them lined up here once again with um, the teams. You've got Hendrick with four drivers, Joe Gibbs with four, Stuart Haas with three, Petty GMS with two, Richard Childress with one, Team Penske with one, and Wood Brothers with one. But we will have 12 of these 16 moving on, and four will be out. And as you can see, we've got like Skylanders Gamer, uh, his car right here. This is a Ream Christopher Bell. You may be wondering, LA Johnson Fan 48, why don't you run that 20 car? Well, it's because it's slow. Same thing with this 9 car. Um, it's slow, so that's why I don't run it very often. Uh, I just wanted to change all the cars so um, they don't have tape numbers because it looks cooler. The only ones with tape numbers are Mickey and Jeff Show and Ty Dillon. So, um, yeah, let's figure out the 12 cars moving on. Starting with first. First place is a driver that I honestly wouldn't have expected to um, be where they're at right now. Um, they got a win early in the season, and... Um, after that win, they really started to fall off, but in the playoffs, they really started to pick up pace, and they ended up clinching the race 12 win, which ended up giving them the lead in points. You guys know who I'm talking about. NASCAR fan for life will enter the round of 12 in first place. Next up, I'm going to give you guys one more hint. This is another Hendrick driver. This driver has... Um, I don't want to say dominated uh, the NASCAR Napa Cup Series, but they kind of have. Um, they've had a couple rough races, but they've never really disappeared from contention, and they ended up getting the most recent win, race 13. It's NASCAR Fan for Life's teammate, Adam NASCAR Cup Series Fan 88. He will enter the round of 12, second place, and these two are only separated by 1 point, 82-81. Next up, third place. Uh, third place is a driver that honestly should have had a win sooner, in my opinion. They won in the regular season, but um, in the playoffs they uh haven't they weren't able to grasp a win. But they had crazy consistency, three consist, um, three top fives in a row, and that's what you're gonna need in order to advance from round to round. You know, you guys know who I'm talking about. The guy who finished second in the most recent race, Isaiah Joy, he will be third entering the round of 12, and he actually had 104 points, so he has the most points out of any driver so far. Next up, fourth place. This driver is another driver that I wouldn't expect to be here right now. This driver uh, hasn't had very good qualifying runs, but has kind of stepped up lately, has gotten closer and closer to making the fast 12, but they've had pretty crazy race pace. Um... They've been either in the top 10 or close to it, and those consistent finishes, just like Isaiah Joy, it's allowed them to get where they are now. Fourth place, going into the round of 12, myself, Elliot Johnson fan 48, with 86 points. I have the second most, and Isaiah Joy has 104, so you can just see how dominant that 18 has been. Fifth place, this driver, um, <coughs> whenever they started in the series, um, they definitely proved their worth and um, showed us that they belonged here. Um, but they kind of fell off. But, um, yeah, they were about mid-pack um, as soon as the playoffs started. But they had bagged enough points to get themselves to fifth place. I'm talking about Maynard's Cup Series in the 43. He enters the playoffs fifth place. I'd honestly expect him to be higher, but he's been a little bit off lately. But he's in fifth, so he's still clearly doing something right. Sixth place, this driver is one that you saw up front for basically the entirety of the regular season. Has had pretty fast cars, but they've had a really rough playoffs. The playoffs did not go well for them at all. Um, they were almost below the cutoff line at one point, but um, with a very strong race today, they were able to get themselves all the way up to sixth. I'm talking about AM57, the Red Bull fan. He enters the playoffs sixth place, and he is the second highest Joe Gibbs car to Isaiah Joy. Seventh place. This driver, in my opinion, is the odd one out, if you will. This driver, um, I knew uh, their potential speed, and um, they weren't able to get a win till late in the regular season. 
But, um, yeah. They're the only Cup Series regular left in the playoffs. You guys know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Harrison Burton. Um, he's kind of fallen off lately, but he is still in a nice, solid 7th place entering the round of 12. 8th place, this driver, um, they've kind of fell off in the playoffs, but um, they've stayed consistent enough to where they have a decent cushion uh, above the cutoff line. And um, I believe that this car is completely capable of getting a win. They just haven't quite gotten there yet. I'm talking about NASCAR 5-9 in the 24. He will be 8th place entering the round of 12. And we have all four Hendrick cars locked in now, except for Bowman Fan, unfortunately. Ninth place. This driver is very disliked by some and is neutral from others. This driver um, has shown some flashes of dominance, uh, has gotten lots of second-place finishes. Um, their second win, they should have gotten it a lot sooner, in my opinion, but they weren't able to. Very, very rough finish in race 13, knocked them all the way down to ninth. You guys might know who I'm talking about, Mickey and Jeffy Show especially. Skylanders Gamer, YT. Uh, I believe he was like fourth in race 12, all the way down to ninth now. He enters the round of 12, ninth. Tenth place, this driver, um, in my opinion, should have had a win by now. But, um, yeah, they've been extremely consistent, have gotten some top fives, some top tens here and there. Uh, they've gotten as good as third, but they also had a very tough race uh, in race 13. Um, and that knocked them all the way down to tenth. But um, if they stay consistent like they have been, they should have no problem making those points back up. I'm talking about the 81 of Mickey and Jeffy Show. He will be entering the round of 12 in 10th place. And these two are side by side yet again. And in the points, they were also only separated by one point. Skylanders Gamer 67, Mickey and Jeffy Show 66. This is where it gets close. This is is where drivers were going all over the place. I'm going to give you guys a hint. The final driver locked into the playoffs only got it by five points. Same with the driver in 11th. 11th and 12th were tied five points above the cutoff. This driver um, definitely had a playoffs to forget. But um, they really made it up in race 13, and that allowed them to get above the cutoff line. Um, haven't quite gotten that win yet, but they've gotten as close as second. I'm talking about the NASCAR official 2022. He did it from 14th or 15th all the way to 11th. He had a legendary race 13, and that allowed him to get in by just five points. Here we go, folks. You've got that final spot. Spot number 12, it's between these five drivers. James Bird, French Fry, Ty Dillon, NASCAR Fan, number three, NASCAR Hot Wheels Stop Motion. It can only go to one of these drivers. This driver has definitely proven their worth in the NASCAR Napa Cup Series. Whenever they are competitive, they seem to always be up front and always seem to be somebody in the front of our minds as to who is going to win. Um, this driver, they've been kind of up and down, up and down, but their playoffs has definitely been a low in their season. Um, you could honestly say it's a miracle that they're above the cutoff line right now with the mid-pack finishes that they've been getting. It's going to be French Fry. In the 10. Getting in by 5 points. Stuart Haas cars, 10, 11, 12. French Fry, you may have thought it was over, but you did it. But it's time to pick up the pace now. Let's go. That leaves these four. James Bird. Wait, it was not James Bird, sorry. I messed it up. NASCAR fan number 3 only missed it. By five. Had a pretty bad playoff start. Man, I really thought he was going to get it in race 13 over French Fry. Whenever I said in the race that those four spots that French Fry 
had that those four points that French Fry had on uh, NASCAR fan number three could have an impact. It did. French Fry got in by five points over NASCAR fan number three. And then I'm just going to go through the rest of these. James Bird was nine points out in the 19. NASCAR Hot Wheels stop motion was 12 out. And Ty Dillon was 32 out. So these are your four cars eliminated. Very well done this season, gentlemen. Making the playoffs is absolutely incredible. And as you can see, it's not something that everybody was capable of doing. So um, I hope you guys continue to race in the NASCAR Napa Cup Series. Uh, you guys came extremely close, except for Ty Dillon. You weren't very close, but that's okay. Um, you guys drove great races. It allowed you to get into the playoffs, and um, I got to give you credit. You guys did great this season. It was just not enough to make the playoffs. But as for these guys, NASCAR fan for life, Adam NASCAR Cup Series fan 88, Isaiah Joy, Elliot Johnson fan 48, Manners Cup Series, AM57, the Red Bull fan, Harrison Burton, NASCAR 5'9", Skylanders Gamer, Mickey and Jeffy Show, the NASCAR official, and French Fry. It's time to celebrate, gentlemen. We are moving on. Congratulations to everybody here. Um, and you guys, keep at it. Keep your heads up. You guys drove great seasons, but unfortunately, it's the end of the road for you four. Thank you guys for watching. Yetis, Polygetis, French Fry, you made it. And um, yeah, my name is Ali Johnson, fan 48, from fourth place in the standings, and I'm signing off. See you folks, on to the round of 12.